In this quick video, I am going to show you how you can customize your course navigation bar. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you today how you can customize your course navigation bar. Now, what is the course navigation bar? There are two navigation bars within Canvas. The first being the global navigation bar, which never disappears or goes away. The second one being the course navigation bar. They're both on the left side and you can hide certain items, uh, move them around in whatever different order you like, and then also you can add external links right there within your course. So I'm going to show you how you can do all of that in this video, so stay tuned. So I have opened up a Canvas course here. I actually sell this template on my Teachers Pay Teachers store if you're interested. But we are going to make the navigation bar of this course, we're gonna customize it. So the first step to do this is to actually go to the course settings. And here we're gonna click on the tab at the top titled navigation. So now I can click and drag anything I don't want my students to see over here when the course is published. So I'm just going to remove all of these things that are unnecessary for them and leave. I'm going to do modules and I can put them in whatever order too. So I'm going to have modules, announcements, grades, and then maybe there are some other ones that I want to add here. Let's see. No, I think I'm good. I think I'm going to leave it just like this and click save. So now when I go to the homepage and I click student view, we are going to be able to see what that looks like. Actually, there's no announcements. That's because I haven't created an announcement yet in this course, but we have home, which is the home page, modules, and grades. Now, if I want to add to this course navigation bar, I actually can. I can do different types of links. So let's leave the student view here. Okay, so we are going to now go to settings to add our external custom links. So this could be a link to anything. So now instead of going to navigation, we're actually going to go to apps. And here in the filter by name, we're going to write redirect tool. And it's the blue redirect button. We're going to click add app. And now we get to choose whatever link URL that we want and name it whatever we want. So let's figure out what that is. So I've decided that one of the links that I would like to direct my students to is vocabulary. Vocabulary is something that I used a lot in my classroom. So having this as a quick course navigation link was really beneficial. So I actually decided to do the login link. So I am going to copy this here, go back to my Canvas this course where it says URL redirect. We are going to paste that in and make sure that it is accurate, which it is. And then right up here, we are going to title it flow cab Ulary. And now down here. So we want to force open a new tab for this external link. That's good. We want it to show in the course navigation. So we're going to click that and these two. So for account navigation and user navigation, I'm just going to leave those blank for now, but we'll just click add the app and then it will take a second to generate over in the course navigation. But when I hit refresh here, it is right here and I can go back to navigation and it's right here, which is great. So now let's go back to the homepage. We're going to do student view just to make sure that it appears and it does. We'll test it out by clicking it. It opened, here we go, open into a new tab and there you go. Now my students will be able to log into Flocabulary this simply within my Canvas course. This is just a really easy way to incorporate any external link, let's say your school website or an important external application that you like to use with your students, incorporate it into Canvas so that again, they're coming to the course and accessing all the important information and activities in one center place. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this was helpful as you are getting started or revamping your course for next year. If you have any questions, again, feel free to leave uh, any comments below. I'm really good about responding and I love hearing from you. And of course, before I end this video, would absolutely appreciate if you would like and subscribe, stick around for a while because I have a lot of new content coming your way. All right guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.